we are going to learn how to identify the components of the word interface. And the word application window is made up of various components which we will go through individually. The first component is the quick access toolbar and this is located in the uppermost left of the window. The quick access toolbar provides you easy access to core commands such as save, undo and redo. You can also customize the quick access toolbar to include additional commands based on your preference. The next component is the title bar and this is located along the top of the window and it displays the name of the current document. The next component is the ribbon and the ribbon is located directly below the title bar. The ribbon contains common commands and features used to edit and create documents. It's made up of tabs from file to view and each tab consists of various groups the clipboard tab, the font tab and so on. The next is the document area and this is the main portion of the window. And the document area is where you display documents. The next component are the scroll bars. The scroll bars are located to the right of and directly under the document area. You'll see here, you can scroll below and to the top of the document. If I make my document a bit bigger, the other scroll bar is then displayed and I can scroll to the right and to the left of the document. The next component is the status bar and this is located at the bottom of the window. And the status bar shows information about the current document such as number of pages as well as number of words. Now I'm going to discuss the ribbon. Now the ribbon is made up of various tabs. The first tab is the file tab and this is otherwise known as the backstage view. And this is where you can access commands that perform file related tasks such as saving and printing. You can also access information on the current document. You can open a new document, open a previously saved document. You can save or save as, print options, share, export, close, account and options. And this is where you customize Excel. The next tab is the Home tab and this contains the frequently used commands and the groups that consist in this tab are the clipboard group, the font group, paragraph group, styles group and the editing group. The next tab is the Insert tab and this contains commands that insert different objects into your document such as charts, tables and pictures and groups in this tab are pages, tables, illustrations, apps, media, links, commands, excuse me, comments, header and footer, text and symbols. The next tab is design and this is where you choose des different design elements, document formatting and the page background group. The next tab is the page layout tab. And this contains commands used to customize document pages, including controlling the placement of text and graphics. And groups on this tab, page setup, paragraph and arrange. The next tab is the references tab. And this contains commands to create references to the document content, such as footnotes and indexes. And groups on this tab are table of contents, footers, citations and bibliography, captions, index and table of authorities. The next tab is mailings and this consists of commands to create mailing documents such as faxes, letters and emails. And groups on this tab include create, start mail merge, write and insert fields, preview results and finish. The next tab is the Review tab and this contains commands to review and edit content in a document. And groups on this tab are proofing, language, comments, tracking, changes, 
compare and protect. The last tab is the view tab and this contains various commands to switch between different document views. The groups on this tab are views, show, zoom, window and macros.